Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to set up your custom domain that you've just purchased. So what this video will cover is basically how to redirect users from the domain that you have just purchased to a different domain where your website is currently being hosted. So the first step in this tutorial is to buy the domain. You can use any domain registrar that you would like, but in this example, I'll be using Google Domains. The second step is to host your website online using any web hosting platform of your choice. In this example, I'll be using Netlify just because of how easy it is. Once you've successfully made a Netlify account, you should see a screen very similar to this. And all you have to do is basically just drag your folder with all of your website files into this box right here. And once you've done that, um, Netlify should give you a link here if you click on the link. As you can see here, this is the porf this is my own personal portfolio website. And now what we will do is redirect users from www.andytrung.dev to this URL here. But the user will never see this URL. They will only see the www.andytrung.dev domain. To begin this process, we're going to go back to Netlify. And here, make sure to click on the overview tab and then go to domain settings. And then go under the section that says custom domains. And in this section, go ahead and click add custom domain. And inside of this box, go ahead and type in the name of the domain that you've purchased. In this case, I'm going to type in www.andytrung.dev and click verify. And when I ask you already has an owner, is it you? Make sure to click yes, add domain. And now once you have done those steps, you should see a screen very similar to this where you'll get this little error message. Go ahead and click on it. And all this message is saying is we need to basically point um, our domain that we've purchased to this URL here. And so how we can do that is if we go back to Google domains and go ahead and go to the DNS settings. And once we get here, go ahead and scroll all the way down. And as you can see here, I already have some set up, but we're going to go ahead and set up the www dot uh, custom domain part. And all you have to do for this step is go ahead and type in www dot here in this first box. I uh, change this box to C name, which is right here. Leave this the default value. And in this last box, go ahead and copy the um, temporary domain uh, that Netlify has given us. So in this case, we can go ahead and copy the URL here and just make sure to paste in this last box here and click add. Once you've completed all those steps, and now if we go back to Netlify and refresh the page, you should see that the error message for uh, this domain is now gone, but now we see a different error message here. If you click on it and read through it, all it's saying is that when someone types in your domain without the www dot part, um, we want to redirect them to the correct domain still. And so you can do this very easily by going back to the Google domains and inside of this first box, go ahead and leave it as a uh, leave as a default value and just go to the very last box and go ahead and copy the IP address that you see here and go ahead and just copy and click add. And now, so once we have added this um, step, go ahead and go back to Netlify and refresh the page. If you have done all the steps correctly, you should now see a screen very similar to this. You shouldn't see any more error messages. And now if you click on your domain, you should see that it now points to your website that you host on Netlify. This is the end of my step-by-step -step tutorial. And if this video helped you in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe.